What's up, y'all? What's up? It's Tuesday night. Welcome back to another episode of the Live With Purpose live streams. Today, we're chilling and open a ton of boxes, and I'm gonna try something new with uh, another angle over here. So we'll we'll play around with that in a little bit. But first, let's get into the chat. How's everyone doing? Barbarian, Ronnie, Mikey, first. How you doing, man? Good to see you, good to see you. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know it's Tuesday, it's a little different. I'm usually in the Friday slot, but um, I've come to the point where like, I think we're trying to do more Friday stuff with the family, you know what I mean? And it makes more sense because Friday, everyone's off work, everyone wants to do stuff, head out for the weekend. So it's come to a point where I got a, I got a familial obligations. <laughs> So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and shift. I think my live is gonna be Wednesday nights. I think that's the night that I've settled on. So we're gonna see how that works out. But you know, long story short, we're still gonna do lives. We're still gonna be here with y'all and hang out. EDC knife and tool. Also first, what's up, Trevor? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. Um. Okay. I hope we finally killed the lag. The internet issue okay it looks like we're smooth it looks like we're chilling the music is going everything is going well so let's see let's see let's see blasto supreme says ron what's up blasto good to see you man what uh what handheld pocketable um electronic are you handling tonight chris valadez house of blaze says sup guys what's up chris good to see you man good to see you man the garage dad says sup John Bruns, yo, are you enjoying your giveaway winnings, man? I know you are. I know you got your package. I don't know you're you're having a good time. So, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the stuff. Bug got M390 in the house. Says, what's up? What's up? Kevin Stewart in the house. Hey, good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a while, man, but good to hear from you. Hope you're doing well, and uh, you know, sending good thoughts your way. I know you're going through some stuff, so we got you, man. We're here for you, all right? Whenever you need to pick me up, jump into one of our Liberal Purpose live streams. We got you, man. <laughs> Earl Lollibur is in the house. What's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's everyone doing on a Tuesday night? I feel like the, the energy is going to be a little different on Friday than it is on a Tuesday. So let me know. Let me know how you guys are doing. Mikey just started. Mikey Daily Carry? Damn. Okay, we're going to have to crash his stream <laughs> in a little bit. We'll open a few packages. We'll crash his stream. TJ Duran says, hello, Ron. What's up, TJ? Good to see you, man. How are you doing? How are you doing? Ricky Hernandez in the house. Says, what's up, bro? Oh, I think he was talking to Trevor. Fine, Ricky. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, he said, don't tell Cole I snuck out to visit your live, Ron. <laughs> I, I didn't know Cole was on tonight. We'll have to crash his channel, too. We'll have to we'll have to crash his live stream. We'll just jump in for a quick minute. Kevin says, voice 5x5, music soft in the background. You are on my TV. You look like you're in 4K. I am in 4K, sir. <laughs> This is 4K output right here. Maybe. Uh, I think it's like 2K. But still crispy. Smooth. Ricky says, I don't have enough computers to open so many live streams. Well, let's see. You've got your computer, your MacBook, right? You got your iPad. You got your uh, iPhone, right? Bust a different live stream on each one. You be the man in the chair. Monitor one, monitor two, monitor three. You're gonna have like one AirPod hooked to me, another AirPod hooked to Cole, and then the speakers blaring hooked to Mikey. Okay, 
<laughs> Earl said most of us jumped over from coal. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Okay, let's let's go pay the man a visit right now. Let's go pay the man a visit. And uh apologize, but also thank him. Because he's such a cool ass dude. Oh here he is, right here. Boom! Oh, the other one the two hundred dollar one is the one that's not so loud. Oh, no. We're gonna have to say hi. We're gonna have to easily say hi. We got some goon woos, pulsars, um, Migger on Valona M3. Crashing your stream because I stole Valona. your audience. Hearts, hearts. <laughs> There you what go. They do this? Love you, Cole. I'm so here for it. This night's oh, massive. And, and your so stash. Well there you go. I think that should be enough. <laughs> that should be enough. What the hell? What's oh, happening here? What else? What else? What else? <laughs> um, on he, he has his browser on too, uh, so I can't Odium see him. Love that knife, but again, access to the lock bar. Is X in the house? Oh, here we go. Marine X in the house. He says. He says, door kicked in, peasant in chief. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, man? Uh, I caught your live last time. Uh, it's good to see you again, man. I haven't been on for a minute. I won't lie. I've just been super busy with things. But it's uh, it's really good to see you again. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for being a member. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Kevin Stewart says, Marine X is in the house. There you go, man. Always on the notifications. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ricky says, too many voices in my room. I need to hear what Cole is saying. He's probably ripping me a new one. I didn't think it. I don't remember it ever being that uh, much. Never. <laughs> Am I wrong? What's I up, y'all? Yeah, eighty dollars. Oh, uh, one fifty-four cm. Okay, well. Okay, what I can't. I, I I can't keep watching him because I don't know what's going on with him there. And uh, you guys are watching me, so we got to make it interesting for y'all too. Okay, so as the title suggests, we got a ton of boxes uh six to be exact to open and maybe a package and um if i can get a, a go ahead from a certain somebody I, I can maybe open a seventh but that just depends on uh what the response is but we can get started okay 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 all right so we are no go on the seventh but Check this out. Eh? Eh? It's kind of choppy because it's my iPhone up there. But I figured we need to do it. Oh. <laughs> we need to do it top down. So we can kind of see in real time what's going on. And you can see what I'm kind of doing. This is my desktop. I just cleaned it. It's never this clean. And that's, that's a big reason why. So. We've got <clears throat> my Ultim stash here. I'm sure you guys seen lots of pictures of this. This is not Ultim, it's just a cool coin. But we've got a Worry Stone here, got Key Hook, we've got uh, an SFK with a plug, some beads, a Combat Beads Precision Driver, uh, a JRW High Tex Ultim coin, and of course the V1. Very awesome. Earl! You are the man, Earl. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, man. Give me five memberships welcoming five new people either to the liver purpose crew or back into the liver Pur purpose crew for the first time thank you so much man let's see who joined the purpose crew this time nick groff's edc kevin stewart coming back and right into the thick of it michael r omar hernandez and barbarian brawny the mod the mod himself was gifted a membership Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Earl, you are you are a mainstay. You are a G on this channel. You're the very first Liver Purpose crew member. And I thank you very much for coming through, showing your support. I feel the love all the way over here. I don't know where you're from, but I don't know where you're at. But I know I know you are. I know you're there. So thank you. Shouldn't have shown that. That was a that was a no-go. But here we are, top down, okay? And we got the Ultim trainer. I'm still working on things. Don't tell me to do things. I promise I don't got that much in the wheelhouse, right? But we've got some. We've got some. All right. But we're going to crack open the very first. We're going to back we're going to crack open the very first package here. We're going to start off strong, okay? We're going to start off strong. 
here we go happy knife says dope keyboard thank you man it's actually been a while this is the drop alt keyboard i have a lot of fun with it uh it's a 65 percent so you're, you'll notice that the f keys are missing we've got the arrow keys here and a few shortcuts here but we're gonna be doing we're gonna be putting together a new one soon just because i want to do more content on the channel like you know just more, like more variety you know what i mean because uh you know edc is cool but it also ties into productivity and also ties into like what i surround myself with on a daily basis and just as i like to hear from y'all what you do for a living and how you incorporate edc into your lives i want to show you what i'm about as a creator and so for that i got to show you my productivity essentials things i don't chump change on you know things i don't uh things i splurge on if you will okay that's a little hint for you for those who caught x's stream uh yesterday but oh bruce is in the house i haven't seen you in a long minute either man how you doing dude good to see you good to see you but this is from you know what let's just open it let's just open it ricky you said something about the cormorant it is a very fun knife it's like so flickable i think i posted a short on like Four way, or three ways you can open this and everybody correct me and said there's like 20 ways to open it but we've got the spider go flick okay we've got the thumb flick we've got holding down the button and then we've got uh, the back the back flick and then we've got the front flick with the thumb and uh i mean you can do like reversal stuff i'm not about to like hurt myself so i'm, I'm gonna just leave it there but this is a cool one l max scales that's nebula uh, reversible pocket clip here and this is uh, this is L max steel oh this is not L max handles it's a uh, it's fat carbon fat carbon scales with the nebula nebula colorway and this is an L max blade from Kaiser so that one's a fun one but here we go we're just gonna crack this open it's gonna be a good time oh, oh, oh. If you guys enjoy the top down, I'm gonna have to just get a second rig, man. Cause I'm using my phone. It's gonna die eventually. So we're gonna have to see. Here we go. Okay, we, we had some celebrations, right? Hi, Tide EDC member for four months. This first four of many more. Thanks for all the positive vibes, encouragement, and work you do for us. Thank you, Brandon. Thought I would miss your celebration. I don't think so. I saw it, but I had to get into it, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for being a member for four months. I appreciate you, man. We're coming up with a lot of cool stuff. I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to fill my channel with things that you'll enjoy. So bear with me as I get all that together. And I appreciate you being around. You'll definitely be on the cutting room floor for a lot of this stuff. EDC Knife and Tool Trevor, member for five months. Initiate level. Look at us almost half a year together. Not even one fight. You're a keeper, Ron. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get into it at some point. We're, we're going to like do some bracket fights or something. And uh, we're, we're going to have differences of opinions. And... It'll, it won't be, it won't be nice, but, uh, it's okay. We'll work through it because, you know, we're long-term people. You know what I mean? But Trevor, initiate five months, branded, enthusiast for four months. Thank you guys so much. You guys are directly supporting me on what I'm doing and I won't be able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much. But here we go. We got some paperwork. We're going to go ahead and just slide that over because that's not really important. This is what's important. You guys ready? Looks like a, looks like a Subway sandwich. Got a non-descript white box. Got some foam. All right, you guys ready for this? Oh my God, okay. Uh, where am I going with this? Do you guys know what this is? Oh God, oof. All right, let's do this view. This is the Null Knives Ryko. And uh, this is a proto. And uh, Sean was kind enough to send it over. I met him at Blade Atlanta and I love the voodoo. And this is the newest one, man. He had the ride in. This is the Ryko. Oh my God, it's so pretty. This blue, I wasn't expecting this blue. It's like iridescent. It's like, it's got some silver, some blue, some purple tinges. That grind as well. Thumb studs. And also, you can flick it. But, oh yeah, see? Easy. 
I was worried I would struggle, but not this one. Not this one. Is it a frame lock? It is a frame lock, and I didn't struggle with it. It's not just me, guys. It's not. It's not me. <laughs> Damn it. Historically, I've been terrible with frame locks, but dude, look look at the details, man. Oh my god. Got the null logo right there. D frame lock there. It's beautiful. I love how the clip it runs along the same aesthetics, runs along the same like datum lines as the handle as it goes. It's not just like a, a slap a slap a clip on there. This thing is here, we'll go back to the go back to the top down for you. <laughs> my top down is is clamped to my table. And so if I shake my table, to simulate an earthquake up in here. <laughs> Ricky says, W, add a boy. <laughs> Let's go, Ron. <laughs> I hate you so much. He was there. He witnessed how hard I struggled. Every time we ate, we shared a meal, we broke bread with EDM Brandon. He would just put the urban minimalist in my face. And I was like, you know what? I got it this time. I got it. And I didn't. I couldn't. It was, <laughs> I couldn't open it. I was just sitting here like, uh, 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 uh. Hi, baby. Oh, little one wants to be a, a guest star on the live stream. <laughs> it's gonna have to happen at some point. Alpha Prime EDC says, "Okay, I'm here. You can start now." Well, you just missed the unboxing of one Null Knives Ryko. This thing is this thing is a beaut. Sean, y'all did yourself on this one, man. Can't wait to see the different variants you have for this one. You know I'm all about the all black, but at the same time, like, this iridescent... Can you imagine this with, like, a DLC blade? Blacked out hardware? I can. Just gonna, just gonna go ahead and slide my pre-order in right there. Maurice! Says it would be a real knife if it was a K-bar. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> Everyone is entitled to their own opinions. If you like a K-bar, do it. The contours on handle has wicked lines as EDC knife and tool. Exactly, Trevor. Seriously, like the lines just sweep. It's like effortless. Love it. And what is that called? Like the the swedge? Is that like a harpoon swedge that happens there? Tonto, or is it a Warncliffe? I'm still getting familiar with all that, but. Hi, Tidy D says, EDC says, add a boy in D. Thank you, man. <laughs> I'm trying. Flip with purpose is Alpha Prime. Yes, yes, I'm trying. Show him the flick. All right, hey, Brad, look at this. This is this is a, a, a frame lock. Ready for this? Mmm. Got him. <laughs> Just watch. Sean's going to get back to me and say, oh, this is the proto and the tolerances are off, so I'm going to adjust the tolerances and here's the production model. And I'm, I'm not going to be able to open it. <laughs> Oh my lord. High Tide EDC says it's a reverse Tonto. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up the difference. Because everyone's saying different things, you know what I mean? Uh, Kevin Stewart said bright red scales would be beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. It just depends on your preferences, you know what I mean? That blue anno is sick. Yes. Ricky says do it again. Okay, one more time. One more time for, for all y'all all y'all watching. Okay, boom. Right there. Oof. Let's go. Let's go. Can I get a, a spidey? Oh, see, there's like jimping on the top. I don't know if it's meant to be front flicked. And I know I'm not good at that either. So I'm not gonna like ruin my my thumb trying to, or, yeah, my thumb trying to do it. But here's a spidey flick. Well, it was marginal, but we got it. Got it, boys. We're in it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So there's that. Next up, there's a reason why I showed you my Ultim stuff. Because we got something, we got something in Ultim to show you guys, okay? Oh, this ain't even it. Oh no, did my, did my phone die? Interesting. It just like stopped streaming. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. It just cut off. That's weird. All right, well. It was good while it lasted. I wasn't exactly, uh, I didn't have my hopes up, but uh, that was good, right? And honestly, my perfectionist self, like when I set it up, I was like, this would be fun for a live stream. This would be fun, but 
like the quality is not so good. It was 1080p, it was Wi-Fi connection, you know what I mean? So the feed is laggy based on if I do this in this angle, it's gonna show slower on that angle. So I knew it was doomed from day one. I just didn't wanna like, you know, I didn't wanna just shut it down without trying it. And I figured since you guys are nice enough to show up on the cutting room floor with me on a live stream, I might as well show you guys and show you the product of it, but we're gonna set it up better. We're gonna set it up bigger. Speaking of bigger and better, data crew in the house, Los Milk says nice shirt. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. Anybody see uh, Across the Spider-Verse? This is, this is dope, dope shirt. And I have to say the fit is tops. Like on this shirt, like it, it's not tight. It fits true to size, but it's fitted well. You know what I mean? Like sleeves aren't too long and it just feels really good. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna crack this second box open. Earl, it is not the DECA. It's still on my radar though, but uh, we got, I don't know if you guys saw the, the tape. Uh, uh. Brad, Alpha Prime, are you watching? Uh, uh. <laughs> no more hints. I'm just gonna crack this open. Ugh. I should use the Ryko. What am I using a Corn Warren for? All right. Got some bubble. I'm sure you guys know what it is at this point. Or maybe not. We've got, what is this? Is this a buffing stone? We've got like a little like buffing block for what i can't imagine all right we're busting this Ryko open boom it's a frame lock i opened it yes for all you non-believers i did it i did it i promise you i did <laughs> for all the haters out there i got you i got you all right we got something from latia edc so you can you can already guess it's gonna be a fidget I'm gonna slide this open. Please, slide. Ugh. Anybody take a guess what this is? I think I've told a few of you what it is. I think I've told you a few. Crack this open. See, this is good packaging. Check out my EDC, look at that. I can love it, dude. All right, we got some paperwork. Got some stickers, some slaps. A lot of cool slaps. Got certificate of authenticity, some QC stuff. Nico Design, I don't know what that is. Lotier Home, these, these stickers are cool. EDC House. This is cool, it's like square logo. Got some extra magnets. Maybe that'll give you a clue as to what it is. Phytonics in the house. Ian, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Got some random tools, but okay, okay, okay. I'm stalling enough. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. Oh my goodness. Oh my, here it is. Let's go. This is the Spy Wars Mechanic C, I believe? An Ultim, dude. And it's like, I've never seen Ultim this glossy before like check this out usually the ultimate I, I rock with looks like that so to have it be like super buffed out like that like ooh, and that's probably what the buffing block is for you know what I mean over time you kind of get nicks on it and you kind of get your grimy hands on it oh listen to that I'm so stoked right now. I'm so stoked right now. Look at the maggots on this thing. That is so cool. So I don't know if the replacement magnets in the box are to replace the magnets if they fall out or if it's to tune it. Like if you want it to be more tactile, more responsive, you can throw more magnets in there and make it look even more, to make it, give it even more resistance or if it's just, you know, just in case one of these boys fall out. Okay, so the outer ring is super glossy like buffed out and then the inner ring i don't know if you can tell here but the inner ring is is matte so i love that there's differences in texture differences in finish but still overall the same material you know what i mean so they're like getting creative with it too oh my god i'm gonna add that just 
Snad that right. Ugh. That right there. <laughs> oh god, I don't need everything falling out. But there's package number two. I love it. It's pretty awesome, man. Now I bought that with my own money, man. Like I saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get in on this. Gotta get in on this. And uh, you know, I've been really interested in fidgets anyway, so I'm trying to like build that out and kind of be able to report on it. You know what I mean? Just because like you know, the fidgets world is just the wild, wild west right now with a bunch of different things. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Brandon says, I'm glad I hung out with you guys virtually more than twice today. Can't ask for a better community of friends. It is unmatched. I don't even bro out with my car guys this much. Nice, man. It, it is it is cool. It's very accessible. And I feel like there's always something going on either in, in the morning, you know, like this morning, Brandon did his live. In the evening, you know, I'm here today, but Wednesdays will be the regular day going forward. And there's a whole slew of other creators out there. You know, Tri-State's going right now. Mikey Daily Carry going right now. Speaking of which, we gotta crash his stream real quick. Where's that boy? Where's that boy at? We're gonna go waka pow him in the chat. Is he still on? He, he is. Wait, this is... Uh... Oh, he's going on in five minutes. Okay, we'll crash it in, in a few minutes, but he's going on in five minutes. He's calling out Mikey and Marine X on EDC splurges. Dude, his thumbnail game is on point. I really like that. That's cool. Do y'all see this right here? Look at that. Like, can I do this? Like, look at that. It's pretty. It's got the glow. Honestly, Mikey's Mikey's coming up, man. Like, I see him doing the work. He's putting in the videos, he's going on the lives, and he's iterating, you know what I mean? That's the name of the game. Like, he's doing well. I'm gonna just go ahead and like that right there. I'm gonna drop a third. Love you, dude. Keep on keeping on. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Kevin Stewart says, hey guys, please don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin, Thank you for the reminder. It's as simple as hitting that thumbs up. That's all you gotta do. Help a brother out. It's, it's, it's YouTube. You know what I mean? The more eyes on, the more comments I have, the more live chats there are, the more likes, the more subscribes. It just shows that this content I'm making is relevant and helpful and enjoyable, entertainable, entertainable, entertaining to a lot of people. So if you don't subscribe, that's okay. As long as you hit that like button or just show up, just watch this stuff. I'd appreciate you, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Blasto says, I don't get the whole fidget thing. I think he's, I've never understood fidgets. See, fidgets is interesting because like, it's just, I think on paper, fidgets are for those who can't sit still or have ADHD or need something to like, move their hands or if they're quitting smoking they need something in their hands to occupy themselves with but i think since then there's a whole thing that's come out of it where it's not just for that function it's more if you're in the collecting world it's an art piece that you can collect limited drops one of threes one of twos one of ones all that stuff is on the table now uh people who just want to expand their collection uh you know their edc kit or people who just want to take a dope picture on instagram you know what i mean like that's all fair game now and uh you know it's it's almost like if you were to collect like every variant of the game boy color or like you you wanted to go for that exclusive yellow one that you can only get as a bundle with the pokemon yellow or something like that like some people will say well it's just a game thing that plays games right but to you it has so much more meaning it has uh it has a story it has nostalgia and so depending on what that does for you how good it makes you feel that may or may not create an interest in you, a passion in you to collect fidgets. So I think there's a little bit of that for everyone, depending on what it is. I've got here an Alt F Pixel Co. This is the portal variant. So this is simply a non-functioning two key fidget. You can put a custom key switch in there and uh, you got key caps to match here. Anthony hooking up the foos but it's good cakes a lie so fidgets are crazy i'm getting into it for sure oh my god blast says i've never seen an ultim game boy but i can't imagine why it wouldn't be possible i don't think it it is i don't think it isn't possible i think there's just hasn't been enough interest stoked that someone would create something like that but 
I'd be all about it though. I'd be all about it though. That's basically combining the clear like violet Game Boy with that solid yellow shell from Pokemon Yellow. Oh my god, if they did that, I'd be all about it. Ricky says, I have a Zero Feud clicker and that's been one of my favorite fidgets to date. Nice, man. Yeah. And it's, the thing about the Zero Feud too is that it's super accessible. Like that, this thing I just showed you, Zero Feud has one that's like super budget. It's like 50, it's like $55 anodized aluminum. There's black, there's different finishes and you can, you can retrofit it with your favorite key switch, key caps. And they have, they have twos, they have ones, they have threes, fours and fives. So. Find it. Oh, here it is. Here. here, this is the Zero Feud edition of the two clicker. You know, had to do it with the channel colors gold, gray, black, anno. But it's the same thing essentially. It's an aluminum body, anodized, and then inside. So this one is formulated just slightly different. Of course, every maker is going to do it just slightly differently. But the concept is there. The concept is there. But, you know, you just get what you like, you know what I mean? Like, some brands you like, some models you like, some variants you like. So, it just goes, it just goes. Ricky says, yeah, it's like $68, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh my God, Nick Ross EDC says, Tri-State is sending his whole stream over when he's done. Thank you, thank you, Cole, I appreciate you, man. On the clock, it looks like oh. my boy, Mike Barbarian Brody. Oh, you hear that? He's already in there, my brother, Abraham, Christian Watterson, Ron Kwok, third, love you, dude. Love you too, man. I love you too, man. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> I love you too, Ron. Waka pow, baby. Inspo guy right there. <laughs> L -cap. Love it, dude. We gotta catch a little bit of his stream. Brandon says, I'm shutting the MacBook down and transitioning to Ron and Mikey between the other two. Time to wind down and chat before sleepy time. That's cool, man. Do you enjoy the rest of your night, man? Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you, dude. Uh, EDC Knife and Tool says way cheaper too. Yeah, so if you're not into, if you're not like for sure on fidgets, then you gotta just like, you know, my my methodology is if you're not into knives or you're not sure if you're gonna use it practically, go to Home Depot, buy a $15 Milwaukee Fastback and put it in the pockets for 30 days, see if you like it. You know what I mean? If you do, great. If you don't, saves you a hundred bucks. You could have easily gone out and bought a $150 Benchmade bug out and then left it there on your desk as a, a nice little paperweight and none's the wiser, you know? You would have been out 150 bucks and uh, that just would have been very sad. <laughs> so definitely make educated decisions. Package number three is from Orbit Key. They just released today a brand new addition to their uh, key organizer KO lineup and it's Wax canvas. Check this out. Look at these colors. They just released them today. Okay. If you guys are interested in learning more or snagging one for yourself, use code live with purpose or code LWP to save 10% off. But look at these colorways. Wax canvas, more durable than your regular standard canvas. You got the blue, the navy, the olive drab, the uh the red. That's sort of like, almost like a uh, clay colored. I wonder what their names are for these. I'd love to hear it. And you've got the yellow gold there, almost like spice, cumin. But yeah, this is like paprika. This is like cumin. And then you've got the OD. And of course it comes with the black hardware, right? The OD green and the navy here. These are probably the more subtle colors here. These are sick. But they just came out today and these feel pretty good here i'm gonna bust out the od green one for you guys to check out uh, packaging is on point with this one too man they really got the paper cardboard packaging down look at this ko it is leather on the end no it's actually all waxed canvas all waxed canvas so got a little water resistance in there so get it wet no big deal Easier care than leather, blacked out hardware, really cool, really clean. So if you guys haven't gotten on to 
uh, KOs or key organizers yet. It's a great way to stack your keys in an orderly fashion so you know exactly which key is in what position so you're not fumbling or jangling for your keys at the door trying to get in. I'm sure once you've kind of built a habit, it's, it's kind of easy to identify your key, but this KO makes it a lot easier for you to do that and takes the jingle out of your key. Like I've got mine set up. I don't have it with me actually. I think it's out there, but you know, it, it takes the sound out of it, man. Like the one thing I hate is hearing the jingle, the jingle, the jingle of your keys. And it's just, ah, it's just no good. It's just no good for me. Joe Paluski, yo, what's up, man? Joe, the winner of the members contest during the 20K giveaway special. I hope you're enjoying your gear, man. I wanna see some pictures. All American Makers, sup, bro, and friends. What's up, Brandon? How you doing, dude? Happy birthday, happy belated birthday, man. I hope you celebrate it in a big way. Uh, Alpha Prime EDC says, at least he's wearing shorts. I'm not usually not wearing anything during my lives besides a shirt. Oh, is this when I stood up? <laughs> you. <laughs> Brad, put on a, a thong or something, man. You can't just let that all hang out like that. Here, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna jump over to Mikey Daily Carry real quick. We gotta do like a, like a Freddy, stream fest. I about it. Probably annoys a couple people. It annoys me sometimes because I say it all the time, but I love- Sorry, I'm streaming while you're I streaming, my guy. And if that's have a, a dope a stream. I'm sorry. Talk to you I later. Walk up, pow. This bag All right. has been my work bag for the last I think last that's cool. Week. He's talking and about his work bag. It's pretty awesome. I do have Go Ruck backpacks. So if you guys are seeing this, I gotta go Ruck time, backpack too. I wanna, I wanted to like, cover hey, on the really channel like for you guys, well, just because like it's Go Ruck. Go Ruck makes like bombproof backpacks, and uh, we're getting deep into fitness at this point. We're doing a fitness challenge later this year i think to round out the summer i think it's gonna be a good thing we're gonna talk about it a little more hint hint ricky's up in here too uh participating we're getting everyday city carry uh and possibly a few others so all the edc creators you know and love that do prioritize fitness and well-being we're gonna be doing that and go rock is a big part of that because their backpacks are incorporated into workouts and fitness as well so it's it's huge we're gonna cover that in detail hey you gotta work with what you got you know what I'm oh yeah so what I really love about this Ricky says, hi, I'm Ricky and I splurge on pocket knives that I don't need because I'm an addict. Open this up. I have Look at that high vis in the interior. Gorak has doesn't have Joe Paluski. What? Joe. Joe. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the Purpose Crew. Welcome to the Initiateer, man. Glad to have you. I hope you're doing well, dude. I hope you're doing well, dude. Thank you for coming through. I haven't seen you in a minute on the live stream. But thank you, man. And again, I hope you're enjoying your winnings, bro. You say, hell yeah. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> Ricky says, I have a JRW clip on a carry commission keeper in Topo. There you go. Perfect. Whatever solution is for your keys to keep them more organized, that's the, that's the best one for you. You know, if it works for you, great. If you haven't thought about that as an aspect or an additional layer of organization, Orbit Key makes it easy, and they have ones at varying price points. I'm rocking an Active right now, which is made of TPU uh, polymer. It's 22 bucks, 22.50, I think. And they have cool colors, blacked out hardware. If you want to go full premium fancy, they've got vegan leather, 43 bucks US. So that's kind of their top of the line stuff. And on top of that, they do collabs with Star Wars, Disney. National Geographic, all that stuff. So it just depends on what you like. They've partnered up with a lot of different brands. So it's cool. It's cool. Check it out. Use code Live With Purpose. That's LWP for 10% off. Add or key. Joe says, "Gotta get that re up." Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Your support means a lot. It's it's uh, directly helping me continue to do what I love. So. EDC Knife and Tool Trevor says, love your bag reviews. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm doing a lot more. I got a bag wall up and um, we're going to get started on that very soon. Very soon. All American Maker says, dude, yes, fitness challenge. Let's go. Hell yeah, man. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. It's going to be a good time. Mikey says, I'm editing a video watching you and Mikey and watching Little Mermaid with the family in bed right now. Nice. Is Little Mermaid on Disney Plus now? I haven't seen it either. And my little one is at a point where like she loves Anna and Elsa, Frozen, Frozen 2. And, um, you know, she's starting to recognize characters. So I think like maybe uh, Little Mermaid might be up in there. 
Trevor says Inky up on there. Where is Inky at? Is he here? Is he here? Blade Brigade he says my Harley fob is like carrying a can of dip. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. Isaiah says, I love OD and black outfits. My new shoes match that theme. Nice. I want to get the J1's Travis Scott olives, but they're like a grand. Like, no thank you. It's too much. I splurge on shoes, but not that much, man. Chef Rocky says, sup suckers, what's up, man? Good to see you. What are you cooking tonight? <laughs> Hi, Tidy DC says, Sony A6400 will be on the way. I need to study Stream Deck and how to set up the camera and all that up right now. It's pretty straightforward, dude. You just pick an OBS software and everything ties together on that. I use Streamlabs OBS. There's OBS Original. And then there's a bunch of other ones like StreamYard I haven't touched or anything like that. But there's a lot of solutions there. I'd say go with one that's popular. So there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube that you can find. That way, you know, it's easy for you to troubleshoot something if it's something that doesn't work. If you pick something too obscure, you're not going to be able to find a lot of resources to help you when you run into trouble. So... Uh, Brent, Brendan says he goes rucking every day, dude. That's dope. And that he rocks his key bar. Nice. I saw key bar at uh, Blade Atlanta, but um, I, I don't know. I just didn't. I, I had I held it in hand, and I think I just prefer something more lightweight, something more uh, simple, I guess. But they they designed the hell out of their key organizers. I've seen it. It's very like thoughtful. Oh, Inky Ari's on Mikey's bag. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, we're gonna crack open another one. This one is from. Studio Neat. If you haven't heard of Studio Neat, um, I've talked about them a few times on the channel. The Null Knives Ryko frame lock. I opened it, by the way. I did. Here's proof. I'm gonna. Sh oh shit. Here's proof. <laughs> I'm gonna show you all night that I can open this thing. But uh, Studio Neat, they make cool pens, very designed, and. Um, you know, it's like, it's it's got a weight to it because the body is like stainless steel and then they Cerakote it uh, over top. So they achieve some really cool finishes that way. So we got, oh, nice. Okay, so. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. But this is actually not a pocket uh, pen, but this is called the Keen and it's a really, overly designed utility knife check it check it check it check it it's a utility knife dude okay it's a pre-production model so we're gonna we're gonna work out some kinks but yeah, i'm sure that's not supposed to do that <laughs> it's like uh okay so the the premise here is that it takes a typical utility knife and it's able to house it in there so that when you actuate it, it pops out. But for whatever reason, it's popping out before I Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to send it to him and, and talk a little bit about blade retention. <laughs> yeah, this is anyway. Studio Neat, they make pens. They just came out with the Mark III, which is a mechanical pencil version of their pen. And um, really well designed, really cool knock, really cool Cerakote finished body. And this is their first foray into other productivity tools that you would find common in the home office. So, you know, beyond pens, they have notebooks, they have pano journals, which are really awesome. And of course, we get a lot of packages here in the studio. So a utility knife is perfect, however, got a few kinks we got to work out so that was package number four Trevor says have you decided a, a time you're dropping your leather trays Brandon oh you're dropping leather trays sick Ricky says add a boy <laughs> oh man you pimpy says no capture card okay yeah you do need a capture card but I think that's just I lopped that into like the hardware aspect of it um, in terms of software, you'll need an OBS and everything kind of ties into it. But yeah, you're going to need, I would recommend the Cam Link 4K. It's just super easy. Takes the bugs out of it. Ian Coates in the house. CXG and Smash Brothers are the greatest group. I think so. I think so. They're pretty They're pretty up there. Alpha Prime says EDC Rehab, CXG, High Tech, Smash Brothers, Minimalist Group, Erling EDC, man. 
That's uh, Alpha Prime EDC's loadout in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Magnets are clean as F. Love magnets and in things. Yes, absolutely. You pimpy, I totally agree. It's, it's a good one. It's a good one. Magnets are really dope in slings, in straps. Easy on, easy off. That's what I love most about straps on my slings and backpacks whenever they incorporate magnetics in there. I made a custom watch strap for uh, my Cassie Oak and it was a Fidlock flat 20 that just snaps on there instead of just having to thread the buckle and all that stuff. So whenever magnetics are done well, sheesh, they're done really well. For, for those of you who missed the unboxing, this is the Lottier EDC Mechanic Spy Wars, Mechanic C, in full Ultim, glossy on the outside, matte on the inside. What a beaut. You best believe I'm gonna be taking a lot of photos of this. My only gripe is that I wish it was more amber, but I think that comes with thickness. So, for example, this is the Workerman key, uh, key hook, and it has that same shade, that light shade of Ultim because it's thin, right? And you know, look at the thin, the thinness or thickness of that sphere. It's it's thin. That's why it's light. But this thonk of a boy is boku thick so yeah exactly that's why that's that moving on speaking of workermen hate to spoil the next mm. i called him the ultim god the other day because he's doing beads he's doing key hooks and i always love how he incorporates ultim into his stuff here we go baby uh comes with a little kunai slap too why you gotta do me like that workerman so dope here we go Okay, we got uh, the, oh dude, this slap is so cool. I would love to incorporate this into my logo or something. Okay, but here we are. This is what we really wanted to see. These are the, these are the beads, man. Got Ultim bead, full Ultim ghost bead. For those of you who saw this on Instagram, you knew I had to do it. You knew, you knew I was gonna do it, man. You knew. And then it came with a freebie, all black, silicone ghost bead. But you, you know we're here for this. You know we're here for this. We're adding that. Boom, right there. I was gonna get like five, but I was like, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I need five. <laughs> I could probably use five, but I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Um, and on top of that, I wanted to give others a chance. You know what I mean? To score and all that stuff. <sighs> Ooh. Ian Coates says he wants a nice guy machine company ultimate bead. I snagged one at Blade. You could have as well. I got it with the lady finger. Isaiah says the thicker, the less transparent. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're they're like translucent as a base, but you know, obviously physics, right? The thicker it is, the the blurrier the light transmission the other side will be. But also the darker the ultim. You Pippi says your ultim tray is getting full. Quite, quite. But uh, I don't care. I don't take no shit for I don't care at all. I don't care at all. I wanted to overflow. I wanted to get another trade just for that. <laughs> uh, High Tide EDC says, Ricky, I appreciate that. And just uh, that's just a single piece prototype to get my cuts and sizing down. Imagine two pieces with a hand stitched border. Also a large rectangular version. I can't wait to see it, man. I mean, valet trays are a huge part of uh, my desk setup. I have a all black one, simple one I got from Amazon. This one's from Mission Leather Co. I don't even know if this is listed anymore. I got it a few years back. But all my essentials, wallet, keys, knife, goes there. Chapstick goes there. You know, so whenever I'm headed out the door, if I'm wearing a sling or anything, I need a load of my pockets. That EDC tray, everything in there, enough set. Don't need to think, don't need to do. Everything is right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got some JRW fans, combat beads in the house. I love combat beads. Keith, he's the G. And uh, I mean that V2 precision driver. The V3 has a thicker chuck here that's hollow so that you can put a few bits in there, which I think is genius. You know what I mean? The cap just like pops off and it's a magnetic. Gotta love magnetics. That's what I've been saying this whole time. But it pops off and you can empty out a few bits in there so that way you're never caught with your pants down without Torx bits, Phillips heads, slotted, slotted stuff. You know what I mean? 
Oh my god, Tri-State EDC and their viewers just joined, say hello! What's up Tri-State, what's up Cole and his posse? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate you guys. We're just doing some unboxings. We've unboxed like four out of six. We've got some Ultim stuff, some Fidget stuff, some new new. Some new new knife stuff. This is the Null Knives Ryko. This is a proto. But had the pleasure of meeting Null Knives Sean at Blade Atlanta. And this thing hits. It hits, guys. Look at this thing. That iridescent anno though. I've been I've been opening everything. Gator Aaron says like that data crew shirt. Yes, this is actually fresh. I was uh I was out of town for the weekend and I was near Data Crew HQ. So I got the pleasure of chatting it up, having a nice breaking bread, having a nice dinner with Los, the man himself. And uh, Milk was uh, not there, but uh, got to talk with one half of the Data Crew. And uh, Los is a solid dude, man. Like, I think we've been trying to like share dinner. We had barbecue, brisket, fries, sandwiches. It was delicious. <laughs> Ricky says, did everyone ride on the stash to get here? Let's find out. Oh my god, we've got 92 people in here. Cole, you are a G, man. Thank you for sending all of your loyal followers over here. You just needed to drink a water, right? You'll be back. You'll be back, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Speaking of data, this next one. I've, I've worked something out with the man. We've got we've got a few things to talk about. Okay, this being one of them, this being another. But that's that's a story for another time. But uh, let's go ahead and crack this one open, shall we? What colors do we have available right now? Um, I have not been able to check out a What a Junior in a very long time. It's come out. It's come out and I have not been able to check it out at all. So, <laughs> Brashir Beer, new subscriber. What's up, man? Thank you for coming through. Thank you for supporting. I hope you like the content. I have a lot of videos on EC stuff and things. But uh, is it a bigger pouch? No, it is a smaller pouch. Colby Venable, new subscriber. What's up, Colby? Thank you for coming through. Appreciate you. But this thing is the Data Crew What a June. You can tell because it's thin. Okay. It's thinner than your typical what a slider, and uh, after having held after having held it in hand, it's it's virgin. There's no Re's in here. I've yet to slap anything on here. The loop is virgin. Um, I like it. I like it. I like it. Tri State EDC says at Lord Needham. Yeah, Ron setup makes me feel self conscious. What do you mean? All you need is your stash. If anyone should if anyone should feel self conscious, it's me because I have the inability to grow this. No wax for me. <laughs> but anyway, this is the new colorway, guys. It's morphin' time! Y'all see this yet? Has he released anything on this yet? But he told me that uh, this is this is brand new. So this is that Coyote Brown, okay? And you've got the new RE stitched on there. RE label stitch on there. Chase Robinson asked, why wasn't I subscribed to this channel? I thought I was. I don't know, man. That's, uh, that's a question for you. That's, uh, that's an introspective you have to take. But I'm glad you're here. Thank you for coming through and enjoying this live stream. I hope you're enjoying this live stream. And the videos to follow, Ryan Smock, a new subscriber. What's up, man? Glad to have you here. But the water slider, the main thing about it will be a new subscriber. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you for coming through. The new feature about, I mean, it's not new. The the main distinct feature of the Wada Junior is that it's thinner, okay? So you're more easily, Sean Redden, new subscriber. Thank you, Sean, for coming through and thank you for coming into this live stream, man. Good to have you, good to have you. We've got 98 people in the house. Can we get two more people in the house? Jeez, crazy, crazy, crazy. But look, 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 you put this in here Okay, Lone Wolf 2873, new subscriber in the house. Thank you so much, man. I hope you're enjoying the content and uh, this fresh perspective on EDC. I don't know how fresh it might be, but trying to give my own take on EDC and what I carry in the pockets. But uh, as I've been trying to say for the last two minutes, it's thinner. You can uh, eat more easily, throw this into your backpack into like an admin hub or a smaller pocket, and that way you're more easily equipped. And the inside's still just as capable. You've got two 
pockets on this side perfect for uh, precision drivers or flashlights why don't we just load it up a little bit right now you've got a half loop field on the inside here and um, you know it's it's very useful for what it is you know what I mean and there's a, a few quality of life improvements that Los and Milk have made to this thing first up you know aesthetics wise that RE label there Robert Raynon new subscriber thank you for coming through man glad to have you here but this thing is pvc stitched on there before it was just canvas it was just canvas and they just uh they just kind of stitch on the label and that was that but this is an upgrade for sure they've added some gloss to this aqua guard ykk reverse coil zipper so that way your things stay a little more nice and dry you got the ykk insignia right on there for you haters out there who don't believe them but it's there opens up clamshell style so when you crack this thing open if it's not upside down it opens all the way around you can lay this thing flat as you're loading it up nice and easy you've got ripstop nylon on the inside the zip pocket in the front here oh my god what a mouthful robert says i wasn't direct redirected from your live call i had to find it <laughs> Tri-State says, I noticed you were missing from my stream to Ian Coates. Hey, man, he's Ian is in a tough position because he's friends to everyone. And so when I kind of jump in and, and step on your space, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to. This is just when I was able to do it. Uh, we had to make the man choose. You know what I mean? And he was jumping around back and forth. We know he was. We know he was. JRMZ says Ian Coates. Heart. Ian, we love you, dude. Thank you for being... The people's moderator. <laughs> you you literally moderate all of these EDC channels. So if anything, you know everybody's deepest, darkest secrets. I think. <laughs> Ian says, blame Ronald. Hey, hey, hey. Let's keep it civil in here. All right. But that is the little sneak peek I have from Data Crew. Uh, they are going to be dropping this really soon. Again, this is the Coyote Tan variant of the Wada Jr. He's keeping up with uh, he's keeping up with orders right now, so stay tuned for this drop. It's gonna be sick. If he's still in the house, hope you're seeing this. People are stoked for this Wada Junior. I am too. It's my first Wada Junior, and I intend on using the hell out of it and giving you my honest, sincere feedback on how I incorporated it into my kit. So for sure, let's go. One week and I'll just come to nobody's streams and see what happens as Ian. Everyone's gonna miss you, dude. I feel like I feel like that's gonna be the issue. Like no one's gonna no one everyone's gonna be like, where's where's the snarky rebuke? Where's the uh, reliable Ian to to correct my inaccurate lore references when I talk about Portal and various animes? <laughs> Gator Aaron says I need a what a double. See it's funny because like Los, we had a conversation about how you can't please everyone, and with every new iteration of the Wada series, it's like, oh, it's too big, oh, it's too small, oh, I need smaller, oh, I need bigger. So he's just like, you know what? I'm just gonna focus on one product at a time, make it good, make it amazing. We've got the Wada Slider, the OG. We've got the Wada Junior, and then we continue on, and we're talking about now we've got a snack time sling. Look at this thing, okay? We've got a snack time sling, the first of many iterations, okay? This is the first iteration, and it's certain won't be the last, by the way. Shouts to CXG for totally kidding this loop field. I mean, they, they didn't send me anything. This is, I, I wholly support the brand. I bought every one of these pieces because I love them. Looks awesome. Got the liver purpose version two. Can you guys comment in the chat what colorway you want to see next? Because I'm itching to drop another... I'm itching to drop another variant, but I'm conflicted because there's so many ways I could go. I could go safety, you know, like I could go uh, safety first with the orange. I could go summertime vibes with the, the neon and go cyberpunk and go monochrome light with the lighter colors. So let me know what color you want to see that version to RE next. Data crew is in the house doing orders right now and watching LOL. Los, you're a real one. You work the hardest among us and people thank you for it because we all want that what a junior love we all want that snack time sling love <laughs> man 
Ian is expecting a colorful little small fry to come up real soon. <laughs> you Pippi says, hey Ron, thoughts on the Wada slider and a Wada Junior being the same price? Shouldn't it be cheaper if it's smaller? Um, I could see why you would say that. I could see why. But to me, I mean, I would have to be on the cutting room floor when it comes to the manufacturer of said pouches. Because like, if you're talking about a sling and a backpack, there are two mechanically, conceptually different things. It requires different assembly processes, design processes. And at the end of the day, there's just two different assembly lines that are gonna be built for that. However, with a pouch, that's fairly simplistic in dimension, in shape. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm probably wrong about this, but the Wada Junior is simply an extrusion inward of the Wada Slider, or, or I guess the Wada Slider is an extrusion of the Wada Junior. So the Wada Junior is coming in at what, one inch, one and a half inches thick. And on top of that, the Wada Slider is simply just the same pouch, but two inches thick. Um, if that isn't convincing enough for you, I believe that with every iteration of the What A series, different materials are being used, better materials. You know, like obviously this gloss here is an upgrade to the YKK Aqua Guard zippers. And so that upgrade ups the cost. So even though in theory it is smaller and has less capacity, that doesn't mean it's cheaper to make. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm, seeing from the outside looking in but obviously i'm not on the cutting room floor i don't know how it is with the cost so we're just gonna have to you know look inward and say okay this is the product it's being offered at this price is it right for me is it not hope that helps man uh high tide says the zipper on the waju is more expensive the loop field and the front panels are the same size there you go there you go see i didn't see that i didn't see that comment brandon i didn't see it but i eventually reach that conclusion based on analyzing the outside of it. <laughs> nice, here we go. Data Cruz says, Tri-State EDC working on it soon. Ooh, does Tri-State, does Cole have uh, a special present headed his way? Ian's asks, can you use a Wada Slider or Junior as a go pouch in the snack time or packs with Velcro? I believe you can. As long as there's a hook field on the opposite side, you're good. But I mean, the beauty of, okay, see here, this is what I'm talking about. Like if you could just look, the Wada Junior, the Wada Junior and the Wada Slider is effectively the same pouch conceptually, just extruded higher. It's a little lopsided because I've stuffed the hell out of it. By the way, here's my little RE haul real quick <laughs> on the slider, but yeah, so, you know, aside from like upgraded materials, you know, uh, uh, maybe a revised design, it is essentially the same bag. But, you know, you got to take everything into account when you're establishing an MSRP, when you're looking at, you know, overhead, all that stuff. Another zipper around a Wada, so it expands or squeezes down would be cool. Oh, like a expansion zipper, like you see on luggages or suitcases. Zero bytes 2000 says. That's interesting. That's interesting. I, I would be curious to see how it works out on a small package like this because it's so small that the zipper takes up a decent amount of real estate. Uh, and then you have to allow for tolerances with, with stitching and making sure that everything fits well. So I'm sure it's super easy to implement in like a packing cube. You know, I mean, they do do that. So you can cinch it around and tighten it down. But Juicy Magic Card says, sad news, lost my small fry while I was in Ch Chicago over the weekend. I miss it so bad. I've been using it since it first dropped. Oh no, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you didn't have any gear in said small fry. That that would make it even more sad. But uh, I know Data Crew's working on some new additions of the small fry, of the Water Junior, so maybe you can re-up your gear, but that sucks, man. Chuck and FPV, Ian is the reason why they are always out of stock. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Release anything in purple, Ian's gonna get it. You Pimpy says, yeah, these YKK zips are thick. Yeah, they. I mean, they do the work. They do the work for sure. CPM's in the house, says, what's up, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a minute. How you doing, dude? Okay, your thoughts, bro. I know, I know you're like... 
I know you're like King B on knives and stuff, but this is the Null Knives Ryko. It's a proto. See, I'm getting all like nervous now that you're here. What do you think? Love the oh, I love the Anno man. Look at that. Oh my Jesus. It's so nice. It's so nice. You pink says thank you, Ron. I guess I'll just get the thick ones when I see a color or should I say a shade? I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. CPM was unboxing his Milwaukee fast bat. Ouch. Brashear beer with the with the cuts. <laughs> Joe Paluski says he wanted that purple drop. So sad. Yeah, man. For real. JRMZ says, Ron, where can I get one of your REs or, ha or have to just wait till the next drop? So that V2 that you see on the snack time, that was my that was the first drop of the uh, V2. So I'm not planning to do a restock of this anytime soon, but I'm going to be dropping new variants colors. Did you guys put in the chat what colors you guys want to see next? I do want to see that before I hop off. But... Check that out, man. For real, for real. That's a good one right there. That's a good one. I, I went with the all blackout because, you know, it's the most versatile build. It's the most versatile color there. And um, people enjoy it. People enjoy it real good. So Gator, Gator Aaron says, man, I'd love to hang out longer, but I got to crash. Ron, I'll catch more of your content tomorrow. Thanks, bro. Thank you, Gator Aaron. Take it easy. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great night. And I'll see you again real soon. Alpha Prime EDC says, I have both Ron's e uh, REs. Yeah, I only have two to my name. And it's these two right here. The V1 and the V2. For those of you who don't know, Live With Purpose is the simple little mantra I live by here on the channel and in life. Um, there's a lot of EDC gear out there. Many flavors, many sizes. So you got to just look inward and live with purpose. Analyze your gear. Custom tailor your loadout to suit your needs no more and no less, you know figure out what tools you need to surround yourself with to get the job done and Buy accordingly don't jump on the hype don't jump on the bandwagon unless that makes you happy unless that's what you're in for and By that logic you do you whatever makes you happy Trat Jack new subscriber. Thank you for showing up, man Thank you for coming through. Hope you enjoy the content. There's a lot to watch and uh, I got more in the works real soon so uh, Joe says purple or Miami Vice. Ooh, I like Miami Vice. I do like Miami Vice. That's sick. It's like pink and aqua. I'm digging it. FDE plus black. What's FDE? What's FDE? Midnight V2 when? <laughs> I mean, this is technically midnight, right? Uh, it's better than a benchmate, says CBM. <laughs> Yikes. You hear that, X? You hear that, Marine? I don't know if you're still in the chat, but uh, CPM's got some fighting words. <laughs> um, I have one more package, but honestly, I don't even know where it's from. So I'm going to go ahead and just open it here real quick and make sure that I can even show you. And make sure that it's not like, I don't know, like a laundry cube or something. Laundry cube. You know those little, like, those little packets of soap that you throw into your laundry? Oh shoot, this is kind of cool actually. Okay, I'll show y'all. So, CPM says, uh, Juicy Magic Card subscribe, thought I was the only one that collected cardboard and knives. Dude, <laughs> Juicy Magic, once upon a time, man, I was really into magic. Check this out, future creative power cable okay so this is gonna be interesting this is the last package I got look at the packaging dude this is so sick I think it's a charging cable of some kind let's crack it open oh my okay I'm gonna I'm I'm just replay this unboxing experience for you what my dream is to offer like like a three pack of my most like awesome re's and just have them in their own slot in foam and when i open like dry ice smoke comes out <laughs> and like rgb flashing in the back that's my dream i'm gonna make it happen i'm gonna make like 10 of them and 10 of you lucky people are gonna be able to get it mark my words but look at this thing what so i guess the premise is that you can attach different heads it's uh cables from Aohi. Aohi. 
but future cables i guess different heads can attach so that you know if you need a USB-C or if you need a lightning or if you need a USB micro you can go ahead and attach that to these cables oh you got reverse coiled cables oh my god this is pretty cool man isn't that sick this is a charging cable guys we're getting into deep tech territory but anyway that's pretty crazy Oh, so here we go. Chase Robinson just picked up a what a, a what a junior says Data Crew. Okay, real quick, let, let's let's just drop by Data Crew's website and see what they have in stock right now. Ranger Eyes, Danger Eyes, What a Junior 002 in the Highland Camo, right here. Let's go, 60 bucks, right here. They had the blue Rizberry sold out. This is in stock, guys. If you're into the Highland Camo. Clean. Los, I, I have to give you props. I really like the taco Aries that y'all came up with. I don't even have a Toyota, but like the Japanese, oh man, I'm a sucker for Japanese culture. So anytime any katakana are, are on anywhere, even if it just has the most absurd meanings or whatever, I'm already like, ooh, what? Let me see that again. Like, look at this. <laughs> Clean. Love it. Now we gotta get one that says, LWP right here this gold one here instead of the orange and the red let's do like gray and black and then the 4x4 have it just say LWP or my logo on it there's your collab right there done done Los oh this Neo Tokyo one is sick too oh my god how about this for the next live with purpose RE colorway Ooh, that would be sick God. Isaiah says I'm back. I was putting a new hunting rifle away. Nice man. Is the new Travis Scott out? Braided cables hit different, says you pimpy. They do, right? Ian says, is the new Travis Scott out? What do you mean? Like, like Jordans? Oh yeah, by the way, Travis Scott Jordan Olive. This is the one I want. So sick. I'm a big J1 fan. Got the Shadow 2.0s. Got some high. I'm looking at golf shoes. And y'all play golf? Really into golf shoes. Look at them. They even have the little baby ones. Oh. But sick. So this one, and then I think there's the Mocha one too. I don't know which one I like more. I think I like the olive one better. Oh, it's not even that bad. The Mocha one is like a thousand dollar one. The olive is not bad. 380 it's not bad i mean 380 is pretty bad but it's not it's not bad bad Ugh. let's see uh ian says more car inspired patches would love s13 patches or supra or uh nsx dude i'd be all about the the subarus want to do a little hoonigan patch <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Utopia, the new album. I'm glad y'all just chilling. It's cool. Alpha Prime EDC says, ooh, I love the Japanese writing on that DCRV. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I know you do. I'll into the anime. CPM says, Ron, you're not at a level yet where shoes will improve your performance. Ooh. Are those fighting words, bro? You just challenged me to a, to a race? Let's go. What? <laughs> get out of here bro stop hating new re's in two weeks says data crew Ooh, los why didn't you mention that why didn't you mention that during our dinner i want to hear that i want to hear more about re's <laughs> ricky says can't wait to check one out and see how it fits in the sling Ooh, there you go there you go is the logo backwards or have I had too many beers? It is backwards. On the Travis Scott's? I mean, that's the whole thing. He like turns ex expectations on their heads. Ricky says had to stop editing and pick one up. So is it empty now or is it out of stock? It 
imagine? Imagine Ricky bought the last one. No, no, it's still here. It's still here. Los, do you have any? Do you have any uh, dope what a juniors in stock that we can make in stock right now? Make available to our live a purpose stream. You pimpy says Ron has no money for shoes. He spends it all on bags and res. This is true. This is true. CPM, I challenge you to a round of golf. I will lose, but it will be fun. Done. Done. Get ready to get smashed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm no good either, but uh, I'm, I'm down for it, bro. Let me know. Time and place. But uh, yeah, I don't have I don't have money for a lot of things. You hit me. <laughs> There's a lot of things I want to buy. But uh, yeah, we just got a budget. We just got a budget. Thanks, Ron. Just bought the Wada Junior. Ricky, there you go, my man. Magic. We're making magic happen. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky, for putting your trust in me. You won't be disappointed. Dadder crew, make sure you take care of that shipment. A little extra special, Mr. Ricky Hernandez. Well, I'll stop, Ron. I was just, I just bought one. <laughs> I know, right? Imagine they released, like, Los released, like, five, like, all blacks. Or, like, some crazy, ridiculous what a junior. You're like, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Hi, Ty. EDC says, I feel like I need a cool brand mascot. Characters and branding help sell amazing products. The Data Reaper is so cool. It's funny you should mention that because I'm actually working on a mascot myself. Uh, you know, live a purpose. Uh, I got my I got my L and P right, but that's more of a word mark. You know what I mean? Like I I mean it is it is a logo mark, but I do want like a legit mascot, and I've got some ideas. I've got some things that mean mean a lot to me, and I'm looking to I'm uh I'm drafting it up. So as soon as we get that, we all know that uh we're gonna make an RE out of it. We're gonna make something special out of it for sure. CPM says he needs money for caviar. Get out, CPM. <laughs> I, I, okay, I need money for omakase. Okay, I, I can I can agree to that, but not not caviar, bro. <laughs> I'm not there yet. You're there, my man. You know how to enjoy life to that to that level. I ain't there yet. <laughs> uh, Juicy says he used his small fry as a wallet and a holder of other small EDC chapstick, old light mini pen, and my liver purpose re. So yeah, I cried a little. Ron, will there be any chance of a neon blue or white liver purpose re? Ooh. Those are interesting ideas though, for sure they are. Um, white, I'm not sure just because I've seen white PVC patches, they just look, they just don't look that optimal. Like they get dirty real quick. However, neon blue does pique my interest. So um, keep your eyes peeled, we'll see, we'll see. You Pimpy says Ron's mascot is a bag with <laughs> liquid purpose REs all over it. I think mascots have to be like a personification of something that is act like a character. You know what I mean? And don't say it's gonna be a bag with eyes on it and a mouth, okay? <laughs> Get out, you pimpy. <laughs> oh my God. Ricky says, I never get the last of anything. Uh, it's cool. You got one. You don't gotta be the last one. All American uh, Maker says he's got a mascot. I call him the dude and he does everything. Nice, very cool, very cool. OG in the house. Who's an OG? Oh, OG Talks, what's up, Drizzy? Aw, oh, this is when the fun is. What's up, man? Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long minute. No, no, Ian, OG Talks. My Australian dude. What's up, man? It's good to see Drizzy in the house. He hasn't been on a live stream in a long minute. I would love to see Ron get into laser cuts. What do you mean? Like, like make laser cuts? I like lasers. I've used a laser cutting machine before. Uh, let's see. Like the stacks box with eyes. Nah, I wouldn't do that, man. Nah, it's not my style. You know, I've got to flesh it out. It's got to be perfect. But, what's up, man? Good to see you. Alright, as fun as this has been, we are overclocked. We are 18 minutes over. I really hope you guys enjoyed this edition of the Live With Purpose livestream. Thank you. Special shout out to Cole for dumping his audience over here on this stream. We had a great time. I think max we got 98 viewers, which is amazing. Thank you so much for the support, man. Cole, he, he may have low subscription numbers, but he is a live stream god. He's up here like six to nine hours a week, pushing hundreds of viewers. 
on the live streams up to no good stash shenanigans dude cole is a g cole is a g but i know you guys are having a lot of fun but uh you know i gotta get i gotta get going but i hope you guys enjoyed this one lots of new videos coming out dedicated reviews on bags slings and knives fun fact i haven't reviewed a single knife on the channel dedicated it's always been a roundup it's always been uh, a mashup it's always been head-to-head -head stuff gear drops series but never a dedicated review so we're gonna be doing a lot more of that uh as we approach fall as we approach the winter holiday season so it's gonna be real good flip solo in the chat i haven't seen you in a, in a minute man how you been damn how's everyone gonna show up right at the end tri-state Hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. <laughs> Live with purpose, you guys. Thank you for supporting me. If you're a member, initiate, or enthusiast of the Purpose Crew, thank you so much. It's thanks to you guys, Earl Lollibur, that I'm able to do what I'm doing. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Live with purpose. And have a good evening.